Hey guys, this is Tyler Christopoli with the Light Star Training Center, and we got a lot of requests about how to set up a ketamine drip for the intubated or sedated patient. Uh, and so to set up this ketamine drip, it's interesting because ketamine's got a really short half-life. So the goal is to give the bolus and then set up an infusion so you don't have to keep rebolusing the patient. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our normal ketamine vial, which is 500 milligrams and 5 mLs. We're going to put that 5 mLs in a 50 cc syringe and then draw the rest up 45 cc's of saline. So what we're going to have is a concentration of 10 milligrams per mL, 500 milligrams and 50 cc's. Now let's say we have a 100 kilogram patient and we're going to start off with our normal induction. We're RSI them, we're, we're unloading this medication and we're going to give them let's say uh, 2 milligrams per kilogram. So we got a total of 200 milligrams that we want to give. Well, 10 milligrams per ml, so I know for every 10 mls I give, it's going to be 100 milligrams. So I want to give 200 milligrams, I give 20 mls. Bing, okay, so now how much do I got left? Right, I got 30 cc's left. So now I'm going to start my maintenance strip. So your maintenance strip for ketamine is usually one to two milligrams per kilogram per hour. So what's really cool about this is you take how much they weigh in kilograms, remove the decimal, and we start our maintenance strip at 10 mLs an hour. Because that's going to be 100 kilograms times 1 milligram per kilogram is what we're going to give, and that equals 100 milligrams, right? And we said for every 10 mLs there's 100 milligrams. So we hooked on our half set to the syringe, we set it up, and now we have our maintenance fusion, infusion on top of that. So that's the best way that I think, in my opinion, to set up this ketamine drip to bolus it, give the induction dose, and then set up the maintenance drip.